Hi, my name is James with EnergyCafe.com and this is the second video in a lecture series about electronic principles. We're going to be dealing with current now. We just dealt with volts and understanding that voltage is the potential to uh, push electrons through something like a copper wire. In this case, we use the analogy uh, ping pong balls in a tube. Now, current is the actual movement of these ping pong balls through this tube. It is the movement. So volts is pushing it, it's the ability to push, and the current is the actual movement. So, knowing that, let's go ahead and set up one more analogy to kind of tie everything together here, and it's going to be with a water tower. So let's go ahead and draw ourselves a little water tower of sorts right here. And, uh, it's nothing fancy. <clears throat> let's say we have a certain level of water in this water tower here. This water serves to act as your potential. There's a potential amount of energy in there. You know, it's similar to your volts. If we were to take a pipe and run it off the side of here, and come down off the side, what we would be doing as soon as we open this pipe up is we'd be allowing water to run through, to flow through. This is going to be your current flow, and it would flow down here and come out the end. So. Current's very simple in relation to voltage. It's the voltage pushing and it is the current that, that flows. So that is the second part of this series and it's on current. The next we're going to be getting into resistance and then we're going to tie them all together.